Well, it's time to take a trip back into the world of the unexplained. We've reported about possible paranormal activity in Rankin and now UFOs. There's a Midland man making an extraordinary claim about the extraterrestrial. In this special report, we went to see if he could prove it. Well, the person we interviewed wants to remain anonymous, and he's associated with the Laredo Paranormal Research Society. And he says UFOs are flying over West Texas. <laughs> UFOs under Permian Basin skies? This man says he's seen them. The books are of it above our skies in the Permian Basin. We are seeing lights. We are seeing stars, we're seeing crafts. My belief is that they're, they're transporting something or someone. And depending upon how in-depth you would like to uh, open Pandora's box, um, we're thinking, of course, they're, they're aliens. He says the lights he's been seeing going across the sky are following each other at different altitudes. He's able to do that with a special type of night vision binoculars that the military uses. Well, what do you say to those people who say, you know, you're crazy? Seeing is believing, but if you don't believe, that's okay. We're not out here to, to uh, win anybody over and prove to anybody anything. You know, it is what it is. And um, there's enough facts and enough uh, proof out there that we know that they're there. We don't know what they want. We know that the government is also covering all of this up. There's tons of video of possible UFO sightings all over the internet. Take this one, for instance, out of Laredo. The images were captured by a third generation night vision technology from the Laredo Paranormal Research Society. They say this so-called craft resembled a triangle with spears at each of its vortices and cruising at an altitude of 1,000 feet going 80 miles per hour. They enhanced this video to prove it, they say, with colored spectrums and temperature filters. Our source says these craft are appearing and disappearing in our solar system through portals. Sometimes it's in an area where there are no stars, it's simple blackness. And what I've been noticing is that um, even though you'll see the light go across the sky and it may be very bright, all of a sudden it starts to fade out and completely disappears. There won't be any moon out or there may be a full moon out. But nevertheless, they're appearing out of nowhere and they're disappearing out of into thin air. I took a shot to see if I could see any crafts through his binoculars, but I couldn't see anything that night but stars. What keeps him interested is the unknown, he says. Different millions of solar systems out there. There's no way that we could be the only ones here. He says after December 21st, we're going to see a lot more of them, and they'll be a lot more visible. We'll be watching. Josh Navarro, News West 9.